Today we're making a four loop tails down bow using the Afre Bow Genius Bow Maker. What you see here, this is the configuration of the bow maker. You're going to use two large combs and the center needle. You'll also be needing upholstery weight thread with a pre-tied knot at the end, an extra needle, a glue gun, and a clip. You'll also be needing an inch and a half grain ribbon width. It's about 32 inches in length, already pre-dovetailed. And as I mentioned before, all we're doing is folding it and cutting it at an angle. You'll also be needing 5 8 inch width of ribbon, 5 inches, already pre-knotted, as you see here. So as we begin, we're going to leave about an inch and a half again out and we're going to puncture the very corner as you see here. We're going to wrap around the back of the second comb and then we're going to wrap around again on the far right. As we puncture again, we're going to the center here and we're going to wrap around the same prong as we did before going completely around the back pulling it in the front and with this we're going to puncture this end so with every puncture the first one was at the far corner top right again and then the center and now this is the end again so this is what it looks like on your bow maker at this point in time. What we're doing is also, we're going to insert the thread into the needle, leaving about four to five inches hanging out. And what we're going to do is pull the entire bow, all loops out, pulling straight up again, taking the excess out, and here we are. The nose here is acting like the center, so we know exactly where we are. I'm going to take an extra clip, clip it, take my extra needle, thread it, okay, undo the clip. And we're going to put a drawstring stitch in like we did before on the tails up, tails down bow. Starting with a, I say about a quarter inch. And as you see here, once again, I'm passing through using this nose as the center for a gauge, going all the way through. Pulling it through. Pulling tight, wrapping three times, putting a lock stitch into the back, another one, okay, cutting the excess off on the back as well as my center nose, and I'm going to fluff my bow. This makes about a five inch bow in diameter. And as you see here, I'm shaping it now. And here's your tails down bow. I'm going to be adding a nose to the center. I'm gonna take a dot of glue for the front just to hold the knot in place. Just for a second. Turn it over through the back. Another dot of glue. And then another dot of glue to finish the bow. See here, 
we have your tails down bow. 